Welcome to another tutorial by Lumen Looney. Today's tutorial is dedicated to a friend of mine named Anne, and the bracelet is going to be called the Anne Bracelet. This is also dedicated to her. This is what the bracelet looks like. This one was done with Neon Purple from RainbowLoom.com and the Neon Mix Bands. And this one was done with the Mermaid Bands from RainbowLoom.com. This is a six pin monster tail loom design. And you will need your monster tail, a C clip, and your hook. Today, the colors I will be using are peach, blue, um, this butterscotch shimmery yellow color. And for my border color, I will be using this green and white striped. Okay, so to start out your bracelet, I like to keep my red dot for my monster tail pointed to the left. And you're going to start by laying your border color in a figure eight pattern from this peg to this peg and then you're going to lay your next one from the center peg to that peg like so this is what it should look like so far and that is what will be your what I call the border color or what is the orange color here on this bracelet And then your inside colors, which are the different colors that you see peeking out on the inside of this bracelet, will be what we'll be laying from here to here. And I'm going to start off with my peach, and you will lay that in a figure eight diagonally from this peg to this peg, like so. Get some more light maybe because that's a better and it should look like this now what you're going to do is take your hook and you're going to bring this band from this peg up to this peg like so whoops I lost it let's try that again that happens just relay your bands like so and you're gonna just take that peg that band from that peg and sit it up on top of that one like so and then you're gonna take this band from this peg and lay it down on top of it down on that peg like so so this is what it should look like so far so you should have those two bands like that and then those two bands like that and now there's no more need for twisting bands so you're gonna lay another layer of your border bands from here to here and from here to here like so and then you're gonna take this bottom band this for me it's peach you're gonna lift it up and over that band and bring it down on top of this band like so 
and then you're going to take this band, bottom band on this peg, for me is peach, and you're going to lift it up and over and put it on top of that band on that peg, like so. And then any peg that you have more than one band on, like here you see there's two, here you see there's two, on the other side here you see there's two and here you see there's two you're just gonna loop the bottom bands up and over and then push those down and this is what it should look like so far Now you're going to lay your next layer of border bands and you're going to loop anything that's got more than one band on it, you're going to loop those out and push those down. You're going to lay your next color of your inside color. For me is blue from this peg to this peg and then you see there's two bands here and there's two bands here so you're gonna loop those And then you're going to take this band on this peg and lay it up over on top of that one on that peg. You're going to take this band up here and pull it down and lay it on top of the one on that peg like that. So this is what it should look like. Then you're going to lay another layer of your border bands, whatever color you chose. For me, it's the green and white striped. And you see there's two bands here in the centers. I just go ahead and loop those out a while. You don't have to. You can wait until you decide to loop the other ones that you have to loop, but I just go ahead and loop those out. Now you're going to take your colored band that's on the bottom on this end peg, pull it up and over, and bring it down onto this peg. And then the colored band that's on the bottom on this peg, you're going to pull it up and over and up onto that peg. And then you're going to loop those out, up and over, like so. And then push those down. And this is what it should look like so far. And that's basically the pattern process throughout the whole bracelet. Now we're laying our pattern bands again, our border bands again. And we're looping those out. And then we're laying our color band diagonally. I'm looping those out. And 
and then we're taking our band from the bottom to the top and from the top to the bottom and then we're laying another layer of our border bands And then we're bringing that bottom layer of our colored band up and over and onto the top on the bottom. And our bottom band here up and over to the top over here. And then anywhere where we have two bands on the pegs, we're just looping those up and over, like so, and then pushing those down. This is what it should look like so far. And then we're laying our border bands again. And anywhere there's two bands, we're just loop, looping those out. And then laying our color band for me is peach. And looping those end bands. And then taking the bottom one from here to here and the top one from here to here and then laying our border bands again and transferring that bottom band from here up and over down to this bottom peg and transferring this one from this bottom peg up and over up to the top peg and then anywhere where we have two bands on a peg we're just looping those up and over Ugh. looping those up and over I lost that band there I fixed it there we go like so and pushing those down we're laying our border bands again and anywhere where there's two bands on a peg we're just looping those out Then we're laying our color band and we're looping those end pegs out and then we're moving those bands on those end pegs the bottom one to the top and the top one to the bottom now we just lay another layer of our border bands And we're taking that bottom colored band, bringing it up and over, down to the bottom. And this one from the bottom, up and over to the top. And then we're just looping anything out that has more than one band. On a peg. Like so. And pushing that down a 
laying another layer of border bands. Anything that's got more than two bands on a peg, we're looping that out. Laying our next color band. Looping those ends out. And then taking that bottom band to the top and that top end band to the bottom. Laying another la layer of border bands. And like so. And then bringing that bottom band on the top peg to the bottom. And the bottom band on that end peg to the top. And then just looping them out. Oops, that one's trying to slide off. Let me fix that. There we go. And pushing your bands down. And this bracelet as it grows does try to twist. It's quite a frilly design as you can see. And you can see the colors just peeking out. Another layer of border bands and looping anything that's got more than one band on a peg out. Laying our next color band and looping those ends out. Moving that end bottom one to the top and that top end one to the bottom. Another layer of border bands. Moving that bottom band on the top peg up and over to the bottom. And that, straighten that band out. That bottom band on that end up and over to the top. And then just looping anything that's got more than one band on the peg. up and over. And adding our next layer of border bands. Looping anything that has more than one band on the peg up and over. Laying our next colored band. And looping those ends out. And then taking that end band up to the top. And this end band down to the bottom. Laying another layer of border bands. Taking that bottom band on the top peg, bringing it up and over, and bringing it down on top. On that bottom peg and the bottom band on this bottom peg up and over onto the top peg like so and then looping anything that has more than one band on a peg just up and over
and this is what you should have so far. As your, like I said, as your bracelet grows, it will twist a little bit. And you're just going to keep repeating this process over and over again throughout the bracelet. Laying our next color. Looping out those ends. bottom one to the top, top to the bottom, another layer of border bands, bottom band on the top to the bottom, bottom band on the bottom to the top, and then just looping them out. I'm laying some more border bands. Just looping those out. And just looping anything that's got more than one band on it up and over laying our next color band looping those ends up and over taking that band to the top and the top to the bottom laying another layer of border bands Taking that bottom band from the top to the bottom and the bottom to the top and then just looping anything out that's got more than one band on the peg. Up and over. And then pushing those bands down. And you can see your colors peeking through there. Another layer of border bands. And then our next color. And we're going to loop those out. 
bottom to the top and the top to the bottom. I'll add another layer of border bands. And then bring that color to the bottom. It's kind of twisted. And then from the bottom to the top. <clears throat> and then loop everything that's got more than one band on it out and push those bands down. Hoping you guys can see okay. Try my best to do good angles for these videos. Another layer of border bands. And then we're looping anything out that has more than one layer on it. Okay. I'll do a couple more layers with you, and then I'm going to show you how to close off your bracelet. Another layer of, whoops, another layer of border bands. Looping anything out that has more than one layer of bands on it. Pushing those down, grabbing my next color band, looping those ends out, moving that bottom band to the top and that end band to the bottom, adding another layer of border bands. Bringing that bottom band on the top to the bottom and the bottom band from the bottom to the top and then just looping anything that has more than one layer up and over. Oops. Lose that band. There we go. Up and over. There we go. Do one more layer with you. We're laying our border bands. Looping out anything that's got more than one layer on it, laying our color band, looping those ends, and it looks like this, bringing the end band to the top and this end band to the bottom. And laying our border bands, and bringing that bottom band from the top up and over to the bottom, like so, and our bottom band from the bottom here to the top, and then looping everything out that has more than one layer on it.
like so. Now I'm going to show you how to close up your bracelet. You're going to lay a layer of your border bands. If you're at this point where you've just looped out to your, your last color band, you're going to lay a layer of your border bands like so. And then you're going to loop those out like you would normally so that you have all of the pegs on your monster loom have all of your border band color on it like so you're going to simply move the bottom bands to the corresponding top pegs from the bottom to the top like so so they're all on one side then you're going to loop the bottom bands on those pegs over the top bands and then you're going to take the end bands on the end pegs over to the center peg and loop just that bottom band over the top two and then place your c-clip on those two bands like so and then you can remove it and there you have your Ann bracelet I hope you enjoy their tutorial today if you like the video please give us a thumb, thumbs up um, subscribe to our YouTube channel and please follow me on Instagram at LumenLooney2020. Um, and I look forward to you joining us again for another tutorial. Until then, thanks for joining us.